Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you've ever been frustrated by those annoying storage almost full notifications on your iPhone, this video is for you. Today, we're diving into 10 easy solutions to free up space on your iPhone and keep it running smoothly. So let's get started and say goodbye to storage woes. Delete unnecessary apps. The first step is to delete unnecessary apps. We all have apps we rarely use. Long press on the app icon until it wiggles, then tap minus sign to delete. Or go to settings, click general and select iPhone storage to see a list of all apps and how much space they take up. Delete the ones you don't need. Here's are some tips. Regularly review your apps and delete those you haven't used in a while. Use the last used feature in iPhone storage to identify apps you can delete. Offload unused apps. Next, enable offload unused apps in settings. This feature automatically removes unused apps but keeps their data. When you reinstall the app, all your data will still be there. Just go to settings. Click general and select iPhone storage and enable offload unused apps. A quick tip, set your iPhone to automatically offload unused apps when you're low on storage. Clear Safari Cache Clearing Safari's cache can free up a surprising amount of space. Head to Settings and select Safari. And tap Clear History and Website Data. This will remove browsing history, cookies and other data that can accumulate over time. Make it a habit to clear your Safari cache every few months. Manage photos and videos. Photos and videos can take up a lot of space. Open the Photos app and delete any duplicates or unnecessary media. You can also offload them to a cloud service like iCloud, Google Photos or Dropbox to save local storage. You can use an app like Gemini Photos to quickly find and delete duplicate photos. Use iCloud Photo Library. Using iCloud Photo Library can optimize storage on your device. Go to Settings, click Photos and enable iCloud Photo Library. This will store your photos in the cloud and keep smaller versions on your device. Photos and videos are stored in iCloud and can be downloaded anytime. Some quick tips. Make sure you have enough iCloud storage to back up your photos and videos. Periodically check your iCloud storage and manage backups to avoid hitting the limit. Delete old messages. Messages can accumulate over time and take up space. Go to the Messages app and delete old conversations. You can also set messages to automatically delete after a certain period by going to Settings. Messages. Keep messages and selecting 30 days or one year. Remove large attachments. Large attachments in Messages can also consume a lot of space. Go to Settings, select General, tap on iPhone Storage, and then Messages. No, we don't have large attachments, but here you'll see a breakdown of large attachments. Tap on Review Large Attachments and delete any unnecessary files. Optimize Music Storage. If you use Apple Music, you can optimize music storage. Go to Settings, click Music and enable Optimize Storage. This will automatically remove downloaded music that you haven't played in a while, but you can still download it again if needed. Consider using streaming services to save space instead of downloading music. Update your apps. Keeping your apps up to date can help with storage management. Developers often release updates that optimize their apps and reduce the storage they require. Open the App Store. Go to the Updates tab and update all your apps. Enable automatic app updates to ensure you always have the latest versions. Reset your device. As a last resort, you can reset your device to free up space. Make sure to back up your data first. Go to Settings, General, tap Reset. Erase all content and settings. This will erase everything and restore your device to factory settings, giving you a fresh start. Here are some tips. 
Regularly back up your iPhone to avoid data loss. After resetting, only reinstall the apps you need to avoid clutter. And there you have it. 10 easy solutions to free up space on your iPhone. Try these tips and let us know in the comments which one worked best for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.